All right, today we're gonna do the impossible. We're gonna make music theory easy. Thank you. You know, people hear music theory and they think of horrible things like textbooks and Italian, but it's actually not that bad. If you think of music theory as cooking, it's like knowing to add sugar to your tea and salt to your pasta. It's just understanding the relationship of notes to each other to make a great dish. So here's a wild concept for you. Music is comprised of notes. There are 12 of them total. The seven letters are called natural notes and you shouldn't run with the others. They're sharp, but also they're flat. What a world we live in. In music, sharp means one note higher and flat means one note lower. Every note has a sharp other than B and E, which means that only two notes don't have flats. Can you figure out which ones? It's C and F. Also, when you have all 12 notes together in alphabetical order, that's called the chromatic scale. If you wanna hear it on your guitar, just play 12 notes in a row on one string. And after 12, when you go to the next note, it restarts, but one octave higher. Music is a circle and time is an illusion. Ah, ah. So now that you know all 12 notes, you're ready to make music. But if you just try to play them in random order, you might notice it sounds very bad. And that's what musicians and people on a diet have in common. They use scales. And here's where things get crazy. A scale isn't actually a set of notes. It's a set pattern. Now all you do is you plop it down on the chromatic scale. And whatever notes are left underneath are a major scale. But to go into a little more detail, notice the Roman numerals up top. Whichever note is under the Roman numeral one gives the scale its name. It's also called the root note. Trees grow from roots and so do scales. So right now, that's a C major scale, but do some sliding, it's a D major scale. E major scale. All of the major scales have sharps or flats in them, except for one, the C major scale. So usually it's slightly easier to approach new concepts on. And as I said at the start of the video, today we're making music theory easy, so it's, it's important. Picture each square as a fret on your guitar. You could use the measurements, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So what is a tone? It's a distance of two notes, and a semitone is a distance of one note. Now, with just one string, you're able to play melodies. That's just one note at a time. But what multiple strings let you do is harmonize. That's multiple notes at the same time that together sound pretty good. So the simplest chord you can make is called a major triad. Using the Roman numerals on top, you can make a major triad by using one, three, and five. So a C major triad is C, E, G. A D major triad is D, F sharp, A. And if you've already played some guitar, you probably know these as the C chord and D chord. And now if you're playing with your friends and they say, hey, can you play C chord? You could say, you mean a triad? It'll be super cool. And now I'm gonna show you the coolest trick of all. So if you wanna make a minor triad, you can take any major triad and just make the middle note or the third flat. It's sad now. You know, getting a flat tire is sad and so is getting a flat third. But here's what's really interesting. Now if you remove the middle note, or the third, you get a power chord. And on that note, that music, I'm gonna call it there.